Warning, there are hazardous voltages associated with the installation of these products, which can cause death, serious injury, or property damage. Turn off power before working on this equipment. Only qualified employees can work on electrical equipment. When working near energized equipment, please wear PPE as specified in NFPA 70E. Hi, my name is David Quatella, Brand Strategy Manager with Siemens. I'm here today with Wayne Morgan. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Well, I'd like to spend the next few moments talking about the product that you support um, here at Medium Voltage, and that's the gas insulated switch gear. Gas insulated switch gear was developed by Siemens, our version of it, in 1982, and it uses SF6 sulfahexafuride as an insulation medium. Doing that, I do not need 48 inches of space to mount a breaker. Mm -hmm. I can do it in 24 inches, thereby re reducing floor space, which turns into money. You take the same piece of gear and put it in air insulated switch gear, and you're looking at 48 inches. So it's a cost saver to use it. Well, tell me a little bit, uh, if you could, about the innovation of the product over the years. What, what are some of the key selling features or key features and benefits that our audience would care about? Features over the years, we've increased up to 3,000 amps now, which is a big thing. That's pretty much the norm that uh, is being required by our customers. Where would we see a gas-insulated switch gear uh, in today's marketplace? Mostly uh, petrochemical is our biggest customer. We're focusing a lot on wastewater data centers, which require reliability, small footprints, mm -hmm. because the GIS by nature re leads back to very, very strong reliability because you reduce the chance of faults 50% just by GIS's design itself. Oh, wow. The cost of ownership also is brought down by the fact that it requires no maintenance for the first 10 years of its life. Set it and forget it, leave it alone. There you go. Can you elaborate more on the safety features of the GIS? Well, it, it requires minimal PPE because in the case of uh, air insulated gear, when the breaker's rolled in, it has the potential, in the case of a failure, to blow out at the operator. With the GIS, everything's self-contained, so an operator can stand in front of this gear with no chance of flashover or blowback at him. There's no need for racking devices, and most importantly, there's no need to suit up in all that PPE. Typical requirement is a fire retardant shirt and a pair of safety glasses. Right? I can take it from online position to a grounded position mm -hmm. in less than 30 seconds, so it's a time wow. saver from an operational standpoint and a big savings on maintenance. We're the only ones who have isophase busing. There's three independent chambers. If you were to lose gas in one, it's not a catastrophe. You don't mm -hmm. have to shut the equipment down. The breaker doesn't trip. We can still operate. So that's something that only Siemens does. Well, you've mentioned a lot of competitive advantages. So let me just summarize for the audience here. We have a very small footprint, which will reduce your cost of ownership, the reliability uh, that you mentioned, the maintenance, as well as the over 25 years of innovation with GIS, but probably the most important competitive advantage that you mentioned is, is safety. So Wayne, where exactly can we get uh, this gas insulated switch here? What's the best place for our audience to go to? Well, you can go to our website. We have tons of information there. We also have uh, tech topics up there for any questions involving GIS. Another easy way is just to contact your local Siemens representative. Fantastic. Well, Wayne, thanks again for the time today and, Thank you, and talking to our audience about GIS. Thank Love you. Love it.